Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Geek of All Trades. Today I'm going to be showcasing my fully automatic Wolverine Claws 2.0. Coming up. I started out by modeling everything on a open source free software called 123D Design. I uh, did all of the uh, the rings, the uh, base, the claws, the sheaths, uh, everything, and then I uh, uploaded the STL files to my Monoprice Mini Select 3D printer and uh, printed all of those out. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish assembling this. I went ahead and uh, did all the uh, spray painting uh, for the silver uh, blades here. And then the other extension piece. And there's the black, silver, turned out great. I taped it off, of course, taped off the silver after I painted it, and then I uh, did the black. So I'm going to put these together. That one and extend the claws, and you can see there that it has a great blend. That's the reason I painted that black so it's nice and hidden, and you just see the silver part there. So it turned out excellent. And I'll be using this Psy Grip number six fast set uh, clear medium bodied solvent cement. Works great for uh, all kinds of uh, plastics here. Open up the uh, up here and use the wooden uh, toothpick to just kind of open things up. It tends to gum a little bit after use right there. So get that opened up and then just put a bead of glue. You don't need a ton. A little dab will do you, but uh, I'll put a line here. A little bit there. And just a bit more here to get a full coverage, nice solid set. Again, this is going to, it's solvent, so it tends to basically weld the plastic together for a nice solid bond, but it doesn't set immediately, which is great, because then I can kind of press this and move it around, and uh, get it to where it's nice and even and matching with the other side. Nice and symmetrical, so I'm going to extend the blades here fully so then I can really get a good view of, of um, an even spread of these blades. All right, so looks pretty good. I'm gonna just kind of move things around to make sure everything's in alignment. All right, a bit more. We'll line everything up with the rest of the, the positioning of the other blades so I get a good, good view. I want to make sure I get this right before everything sets. All right. That looks pretty good right there. Perfect. Alright guys, here's the final result of my Wolverine Claws 2.0. A bit about it. On the uh, finger rings, it uh, is a modeled hinge system, so that it allows for a fluid extension retraction movement of the blades whenever I flex my hand. Now at the base here, I've got an um, anchor point for each of the three cables that drive the system to evenly apply pressure to the claws. The claws run off of a five contact point pulley system via a thread. Here's what that looks like. And then I've got a sliced smaller version of this anchor system here underneath on my wrist for the other end of the cables. Now the cables are actually from a bicycle braking system, aka what's called a Bowden cable system. If you guys haven't seen a video on how I created this, just click on the card here and check that out. Now I've also got uh, everything strapped to my arm via a double-sided hook and loop system. 
So without further ado, let's take these out and slash some bad guys. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed watching that video of my showcase of the Fully Automatic Wolverine Claws 2.0. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please consider doing so by clicking on the icon here. Also, click on the notification bell below so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Keep making cool stuff.